a Chinese student encounters U.S. education. Hello, I'm Caroline Wu, and welcome to Cal State East Bay. This is my journey here. Let's break it down. I am a Chinese student majoring in theater and arts. Three years ago, I was a little bit unsociable and shy. I was not independent while I was in China. So, especially those early days, I met quite a bit of life troubles and academic problems. I was afraid to go outside. I did not know how to drive, and I was a little bit afraid to talk on the phone. But look at who I am now. I did many theater performances on the stage. I used to work at the theater as a stage technician assistant. Became news reporter at Pioneer Web TV News, and produced many news pieces for the school website. Then I got my part-time job on campus. Worked as a videographer at Associated Students. Also, I am involved in the Student Club International Students Association. And one year before I graduate, I started to intern at KTSF Channel 26. I received my Outstanding Broadcasting Student Award. I graduated with a distinction of magna cum laude with a grade point average of 3.85. Now I am more accepting. I have a lot of friends, both native and non-native, to hang out with. I feel really appreciated that I was able to study in the U.S., especially study in the theater and arts department at Cal State East Bay. It provides me opportunities to develop my personality, express myself, and explore my potentials. I encountered many new things in this country. My father is really proud of what I have achieved within these three years. He has been watching me improve a great deal, no matter socially, academically, and intellectually. I wish you have a wonderful experience in the U.S. too. How Americans see China. In old days, Americans had a pretty negative impression about Chinese. Guys had braids at the back of their heads. Women bite their feet. Many behaviors of Chinese made Americans confused about. They think old China is an Eastern country that's full of poverty, hunger, dirtiness, chaos, and danger. In most Americans' eyes, those small-scale Chinatowns that scattered in a few U.S. big cities represent China's fragile and backward state. Today, China has gained one of the world's most influential economic power in just two short decades. It is now having solid national strength. The American visitors that tour in mainland China increase rapidly. In recent years, the Olympic Games was held in Beijing, China, in 2008, and World Expo was held in Shanghai, China, in 2010. There are enormous crowds eager to visit the popular Chinese tourist attractions every day. All these are changing the Chinese image in Americans' minds. 65 percent Americans wish to establish friendly relations and cooperation with China, because China's flourish will benefit the United States. China is rooted in thousands of years of rich culture and history. I value those dance styles and history that come from China. I study theater and dance. I hope one day I can bring those valuable Chinese moves here and to share with native speakers, so that when they see it from somewhere else, they will know that this comes from China. They belong to the Chinese culture. Language. I love English and I love to talk with foreign students and teachers while I was in China. To improve English, this is what I do. I watch movies, listen, repeat. Write down the subtitles and memorize the vocabularies and phrases. Also, find someone to speak with you, attend English corners, talk with different people. Your English will improve pretty fast. I love to live in a student house in Pioneer High rather than live in our house. Our house is only for international students. Our house has students from all over the world. It helped me to open my culture. However, many of them does not speak English. I did not have enough chances to practice, so I moved out to Pioneer High just because I did not want to stay within my own circle. I want to get out of my group and community, so that I could be mixed with the natives, welcome and embrace the new culture and customs. Also, take some theater classes like oral interpret, and it's a class designed for non-theater majors. It is absolutely interesting class that you will enjoy. The class will offer you great help. 
the teacher Antla Halan is fun and there is no stress from the class. She will help you with your pronunciation, enunciation, the development of your script. Simply from doing short scenes and monologues, you get to act, laugh, play, and eventually improve your English. I know this because I took a lot of her classes, and I used to be her teacher assistant in this class. Driving In California, you have to know how to drive. When I was in China, driving is not needed. But here, if you don't know how to drive, you can't go almost anywhere. The supermarket is not close by, the dorm is not close by, even the restaurant is not close by. You have to wait a bus every 15 minutes, and over the weekend, it takes one hour for each bus to come. It was really hard for me those early days. After one year, I started to learn drive and get a car. This environment forces me to grow. But I realized that my life became much easier. You get more familiar with the environment. There's nowhere that is going to stop you. I drive to see required performances in San Francisco, visit friends, to do interview, and to grocery store. I even got more opportunities. I got my intern at KTSF Channel 26, which is a TV station in San Francisco. So I was forced to get out of my comfort zone, and I eventually benefit from it. Racism People always say that African American students are violent and rude. They have guns, they rape, but this is not always true. It's racism. Actually, not only a lot of them don't have these bad behaviors, but also they are excellent dancers. I am more in favor of African American dancers. I think they are good at rapping and good hip hop dancers. I love them better than a lot of white dancers. Recently, I did my senior project. It is a music video. I invited more African American students to be in my project because I respect their dancing skills. When I first came here, my parents told me, in the U.S., guns are not illegal. Be aware of those black guys. They might have guns, so stay away from them. This is actually not true. I found that it is not like how media portrayed African Americans. They're very helpful and friendly. I love to be friends with them. Sexuality One custom you might encounter in the U.S. that surprises you is sexuality. I was shocked the first time I heard that one of my classmates is a gay. In California, a lot of international students like me might encounter this problem. This is my reaction the first time. I do not want to talk or be too close with them. I know, it's really not acceptable in China. We look at gays and lesbians like monsters. These people have to hide their sexuality everywhere they go and never ever tell anybody they are gays. They will be excluded by any groups or communities. But in California, it is totally the opposite. Gays or lesbians are everywhere. They don't need to hide. There are even queer dance festivals that celebrate their sexuality. Nobody feels ashamed about it. After I personally communicated with them, I think they're fine. There's nothing too strange about them. You might just encounter people who behave not like a traditional man, like a guy who acts too girly. But I wasn't able to recognize if he's a gay until somebody told me. That is what I encountered here. As an international student, this is new, but I am very used to it already. If you encounter this problem, you need to know this. They are still intelligent individuals, not that different. They just need a different partner than we normally have. That does not affect how you deal with people. Nudity Another custom you might encounter is nudity. I am not sure if they are going to surprise you or not. Once in a while in China, we do see nudity in films. However, when you see your professors or classmates naked or half naked, I doubt it you could still feel calm as always. I was extremely surprised about how much my theater and dance fellows are open to nudity. What are you going to do when you encounter nudity in a class? In theater classes, Sometimes we got to see videos about naked performers dancing. This is one custom that I encountered in the US that shocked me the first time. It would hardly happen in China. Although this forced me to move from my comfort zone. This was not a difficult issue for me. I got over it eventually. Just think about it, this country advocates freedom. It's just one way to express themselves. So I felt okay when I started to consider this an art form. Then it became beautiful and educative to me. So just think positively about it, it's not hard to cope with. 
Maybe you come from a traditional family. You probably not feel comfortable to watch this. How do you adjust that? Just get up and leave. You don't have to see it. Ways to go. Places to go. When you meet something that you don't know how to deal with, you should go to the health center. There are counselors there we could talk to. Problems like health, psychological, time management, and a lot more. The doctors or the counselors will help you to find strategies and give you some recommendations. Any problems that you have, go find them to talk about. It will be confidential. I've been loved jazz music for so long. Back when I was in China, I've been training as a jazz and hip hop dancer for a while. I am extremely into American cultures. My family encouraged me to marry an American too, so my experience has opened me to different people. I used to be interested in dating a white guy who is a jazz piano player here at a music department. While I was having a strong desire to date him, I just secretly in love with him until he graduated. I guess I was not brave enough. So when you're struggling with an issue like this, you could find a counselor to talk to, and you'll feel better because they will help you to go through troubles in your life. I am a student news reporter and videographer of Associated Students Marketing Department. So I film and edit videos on many events that held by some organizations. These are all my works. I throw them here for you to know more about our student clubs. International Students Association is a student club organized by many international students. Those former international students provide advising services, housing, and banking information to the international students. Associated Students ASI is the organization for student government on campus. Being part of ASI develops leadership skills outside of the classroom and supports events and programs on campus. Beta Alpha Psi is an organization for business students and professionals. They promote the study and practice of accounting and finance. Just check out other student clubs yourself. Feel free to explore them yourself and don't just stick with your own community. Go try things that are outside your comfort. Before I was here, I studied performing arts in Beijing Film Academy for a year. I was the recipient of a hosting award in Shanghai. I had been doing hip hop and jazz dancing for a while. But here, I have experienced authentic American style jazz and hip hop. I became well rounded. I learned theater in our department and participated in many stage performances. I had a lot of fun. I got to know about Broadway musicals, jazz music, rapping, and breakdancing. They made me understand American culture. I became more expressive and more American. My friends think I really belong to this place. College brought so many things to you. Please try not to close yourself to these things. Open your mind and try it first. If you still cannot accept that, then say no. Who knows? You might love it after you try it. This is my experience as an international student. And the video is from my perspective seeing the United States and its education. What I have encountered is what you may encounter. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And my email address is caroline underscore wu at live.cn. Well, good luck with that. Hope you come here and enjoy your life at Cal State East Bay.